Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen as we move into the next round. This is going to be group 13 we're jumping across to. And I guess... I don't think the big name is for this one, Rich, which is joining me once again, aka The Sims. Um, I guess we're probably looking at No Loot Gaming as the main team here, which, I, I mean, they're, they're basically all ex Overwatch players. <laughs> yeah, when you're looking at MLG, uh, MLG, excuse me, NLG, I've been calling them, uh, Butts, Janssen, Outsider, and Crying, when you look at these guys, they are competing in the online leagues and stuff, and they're doing quite well in some of them. Again, middle range, um, around bottom end tier one going up to tier two they had a really good showing when we uh, actually look back at gamescom a lot of these guys were there and they did an incredible job and as you mentioned some veteran players in the fps scene uh kind of this one's gonna be one of those matches that i kind of like to sit back and just let the game kind of do the talking we don't know what's gonna go down here and this could be one of those where we see a team really make the most of this opportunity kind of put on on display their team and say okay we're coming into this competition and we're doing well you need to be aware of us but enough chit chat looks like the planes left the tarmac and we're coming in from the east yeah it's a decent cut across straight across the middle of the map so pretty much everywhere available from the drop no major swings unless you're feeling fruity and decide to go to stalba maybe or for whatever reason you'd go to kameshki i don't know um <laughs> but uh, it looks like it's a, a fairly standard drop across are we gonna have a couple going to mill to power i wonder that was like the first temptation i saw there because obviously it was straight across it uh, it actually looks like you know what mansion and prison very much left alone there's just a single squad going there they got lipovka mansion prison all to themselves yeah, anything could happen here, so it's going to be interesting to see what does go down. Um, wouldn't be surprised if potentially the team hit Milta. If they were, it's rough to say if they were smart, but they do have a good opportunity to go and grab themselves a car spawn and move down to Sobzanovka Island, because no one's there at the moment, unless we get some late flyers, potentially go for the left-hand bridge and then hit Milta, excuse me, then hit military from that side and that angle. We got one team in Yaznaya. They're going to get geared out of the mine. Oh, we got one Pachinki. team over at George. Pachinki is looking busy. Um, we got two teams there. We've got a lit No Look Gaming is well. one of them. Yeah, No Look Gaming. Yeah. And who is the other? Let's have a quick spin around. I'll keep an eye on what's going on up top. We got one team that's going to shooting range. They may fly long and hit Severny if they can get there. One roster's all kind of split up. Um, and then we got this late team that's kind of in the middle of the nowhere, just to the west below Gatka. Not a big fan of that. But actually, you mentioned uh, Pachinki. They've, They've got both, two vehicles. Yeah. They've both jumped in the cars and gone. They're gone. They're going out of there. So that's uh, No Look Gaming, actually, that have dropped there. Oh, and look at the circle that's just come in. That is right smack bang down in the bottom left-hand corner. Primorz well. Quarry. It could be one or the other. Could It may be up in Gatka way, but most likely it's going to be Quarry Direction. This is... Uh... Yeah, this is rather fun. Um, not sure how this one will, will pan out, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of looking at how things are going to move from there. What, what do you make of, say, if you look towards shooting range, obviously there's a, a squad up there, but there's a squad in, the, in these buildings. Now, I, I, for it's... me, there's just not a lot not a lot of loot. I mean, they've, they've spread out for one little complex each, but you're still not getting a great deal. No, you've got a couple of little houses here and there, but you kind of call it a no man's land kind of area. In late game, they're nice to hang around the hillside, hang around the bushes, hang around Ooh. these little houses, especially then in the ones particular that you're speaking about. They're the ones that get a really good angle down onto Rosok across the bridge, and especially if the circle goes up there, they are absolutely cracking positions because there's two houses up there that are level three, and you can sit, you can hang, you can do all sorts of shooting. Where they are, though, they've got a fair bit of work to do. They've got to come down. They've got to come all the way down south. I'll tell you what, look at the coastline. Look, Very look at the coastline. There's a, there's a race mm. on. There's two vehicles. Outsider, so no new gaming going in. And then there's a buggy going in as well. All going into Primorsk That's in the bottom corner. That's a different team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different teams. They're both going in together. It's a case of who gets the gun, because I don't think either of them have probably had a chance to drop, get any weapons or anything. So they're fairly unlooted, and I think they're waiting yeah, for the rest of the squad to get in. They're pushing all the way through, which is the best idea. It depends how... Because it's going to be a two-on-four, essentially. Oh, they're going back so... to Ferry Pier, look. Oh, no, they're, they're going to the complex next to it. Have they bailed? Oh, they're bailing. 
So they don't realise how many's actually yeah. there. They don't realise well, that that's a two-on-four scenario. They have nothing, though. I mean, I could just see one's just picked up an AK. So Spider just picked up an AKM, so he would be in a better position. Yeah, they've bailed and they've gone to the complex back here. Pachinki then, one roster, still chilling. Just to the right-hand side. We've got a team spread across the Badlands and the Farmlands. Milter, two teams potentially meeting each other as we look towards Milter Town and Milter Power. Uh, I actually think that's two rosters split between Milter Power and Milter Mini Power. So there could be a little bit of an engagement going on there just by all the woodwork and by all the little houses that are stacked up on that side road. Definitely keep an eye on that one. Uh, further afield, up north, Severny, Georgia Paul, easy peasy. The guys in George could do quite well. I do like where they're going because they can loot in George and then when it gets to about... I don't know, maybe a minute remaining. They can start to move towards the circle, but they can loop hospital on their way by because hospital is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the circle. Get plenty of gear inside there, and then just kind of work your way and worm your way into those houses just on the outskirts. So, kind of like where they are. Of all the people that went to go loop, though, this random team out in the middle of nowhere, just to the left and below Gatka, where the little compounds are stuff, they found themselves center of the circle. What a, what a strange game, though, right? Nope, not a single person went Rosok school. Atlantis, Watertown, whatever you prefer to call it, ruins. Like, n nobody has touched that. Nobody's gone to military base. Nobody's even been on Sosnovka Island. What a peculiar game. And bear in mind that the the drop was a fairly decent drop straight across the middle of the map. So that circle obviously um, does affect things. But how strange. Uh, I mean, especially Rozok. Like, only two went into Pajinki. Nobody in the entire Rozok area. It's bizarre. It's. Oh, here we go. But, wow, Butts is down. Butts has actually just fallen. He's out, so where's that kill coming from? I'm just trying to take a look. So they turned up to, in fact, I'll tell you what, Lee, it's the other two players that are split from Primoz, the ones that they've run yeah. away from. They drove into the other two that were separated. And already, no loot gaming, they've lost a player. That's, that's, that's a wild set of events right there. Yeah, and outsiders just had to get the hell out of Dodge. This is a... a... Pretty uh, common looking complex, Rich. I believe cast in a game with you in this complex where you died before. Just, um, uh, oh, potentially. Yeah, I think you died to the Australians. The ESL, the Australian killed you. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm living. I'm living Australian pig. I'm a Australian player. pig. That was it. Wasn't, like... It wasn't my. It wasn't my aim. Potato and all over the place. I'll, I'll blame anything but that. Yeah, no, they, was, they were yeah, rubber banded. They were rubber banded. We'll give you that. I kind of like those. <laughs> those granny flat type buildings they're a nice area because you can just hang on the balcony um again though it doesn't necessarily in that prime example what you're speaking of there is a prime example of high ground not necessarily winning you the battle again when when you're looking above on somebody if you're silhouette and if you've got a white wall again you know behind you or if you've just got a blue skyline on a hill you are just this black outline that anyone's just going to see as a target you know you just silhouette against it and bang, you'll just get nailed in the head. None of your body's on show. So if you spray for that target, you can just get pinged. But again, there's a couple of them dotting around the whole map. And the nice buildings to work with. Um, interesting to see how this one kind of does pan out now. Because just to break off from this one, I mentioned Hospital earlier on. And the team that's moving down from George. I think they're actually doing that. So they've avoided the Hospital. And they're going further afield. They're now splitting up into a pack of four. Um, and... Finally, we got some action down in Miller. Here we go. We got kicking off on the beach. Kicking off on the beach. What is going on? French God. Mm. Living up to his name, maybe. He's got a car 98. Let's see if he can land those godly shots. Doesn't look like it. Fit. Four times. ACOG does go for the lean, but no target will be found. They, they're in a good position because they have what I like to call the God tier building. You've got the level three. You can just hang outside the windows. You've got windows on pretty much all sides of it except the forward facing one so you're not going to get dinked from <laughs> your right hand side they're actually bailing on this they're getting the vehicles and completely moving away they're going to go across the bridge they're going to get straight onto in fact are they going to go to Sosnovka or are they going to run to beachhead I mean is, is there a boat down this way there is a boat down this. Yeah, well, they, there we go okay so they're going to take the boat and they're going to arrive late game so they'll be the only problem I see with this the, uh. is, depending on how much petrols are inside these boats, where do you go? Do you Because if you land on the beach somewhere between Ferry and Primorsk, you're going to get nailed. The only yeah. way to kind of, if you go around the back and you come up on the west coast, you're going to get nailed. 
you're you know you need to you need to know your coastline here. You need to know where you're going to be landing because if you land in an open place with no cover, <laughs> you're going to get nailed. Well, Crocs just jumped out of the boat a little too early and uh, <laughs> got not. It's proving that this this keeps happening to uh, teams even in squad bars. He's bleeding out pretty fast actually. So, uh, but Palin will get him up. So uh, there is there has been quite a few boats actually going around there. Oh, it's getting a little clustered over the left side of Quarry. Let's have a look over there. Is uh, and there's like three squads all together over that way, but it is fairly hilly, so this should be okay. Uh, however, Outsider and Co, no loot gaming, they're about to come straight into a complex, or straight past the complex, where previously they got shot, they're on a little peek back there, and like, yes, there is I've still cockroaches no camping. Tagged again, Lee, if you that, look. That's what I was saying, yeah, there's, it's the same complex where they lost their teammate, but there is another... There's another sneaking around the back, actually went completely around the back. So they, they went across the beach while that was happening. Snuck past. Oh, and there's been a drop inside as well. Inside Primorsk. What's in that bad boy? Let's have a look. What's inside Pandora's box, if I can find it. And we'll see. There she is. Has anyone looted it yet? Nope, not yet. We got an M249. We got 200 rounds of ammunition and a level 3 helmet now. The M249 in squads is... It's OP. Especially, like, kind of a more of a higher level because there's so many cars involved. You kind of saw before in the previous round when we saw AAA with three vehicles. If you've got a 249, you can just murder them. Like, it absolutely decimate vehicles. So, kind of higher level end, the 249 is a beastie weapon. And if you lay down with that thing as well, you get an 80% accuracy increase. It's just whether or not you can... You're happy to take such a beastie weapon around. You're happy to walk around with it. You you are a bit of a, a bit of a target because you've got a big boy gun, and it's actually going to be Exeter who finds it. And he had a level one helmet and an Uzi, so nice upgrade for him. He's going to swap out the Uzi for an M249 and the level one for a level three. Not a bad change. The boats are coming in. There is quite a lot of them, and there's one going right round the outside of Sosnovka. Now that's going to take a bit of while. Blue's coming in fairly quick, and you can see the uh, the next circle already in there, so they're already getting chunked, which can be dangerous in those boats. I'm looking at the guy who's Sensato right at the back. Ah, they're going to have to stop for him. They're going to have to, because he is going to go down otherwise. Uh, so that means they're all coming in low. Um, did we look at the crate of Gatka? That was the, second, that was the first crate, wasn't it? Was that a new crate? I didn't actually see the uh, the crate in Gatka. I haven't looked at that when I was looking at the one down in Primorsk. I'll try and get a quick angle on it. I don't think anyone's going to go for that one because I don't think it's being seen unless the team that's moving down now and rotating down to the south do get eyes on it. Oh, it's, it's got a grozer in it. A grozer and a level 3 backpack. So, not a bad crate, um, especially if we do look like we're going to be finishing a Promorsk town battle. The grozer's um, a belting weapon, and what's there's a way to kind of get lucky with a grozer. If, if you're running an AKM, and you've got a silencer on it, for example, uh, and an ACOG, and extended. It's like a unique upgrade. It's just like your, your AKM has evolved. It's it's just an absolute monstrous weapon. You can transfer the add-ons that you've got, your attachments. You can move your extended. You can move your silencer. You can move your ACOG. You can move it across to the grozer and just upgrade that thing. So get a hold of it. It's a, it's a cracking weapon. Doesn't look like anyone's going to bring that one into play this time around. Plenty of people still playing the blue, though. Um, I hope they've got the meds for this, because it's going to chunk them, and it's going to tank them. Yeah, they're switching over. Dub and looks like he's going to heal himself up. Yeah, like you say, they are starting to chunk. The second blue, well, it's the third blue now, isn't it? That's already uh, on them. And again, Circle is looking like it's going to be Primorsk. It's very much heading that way. So most players set themselves out. And this squad that's been in Primorsk, it's interesting because obviously this is, this is where No Look Gaming were going. And then, then backed out of it. They could have been that squad in Primorsk that's dominated Primorsk. Now we're starting to see a couple of beach landings. Now look at this one. We've got a, a, a squad landing on the beach, but there's another coming in the boat directly behind them. They're, they're swimming it in. Are oh, they going to get spotted? Will they be able to get up on the beach? They should do. This is going to be a straight up duel on the beach. Are they hearing the beach coming in? Not one of them turned around. Now they've turned. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. That's not nice. That's cruel. Talk about free loot. Yeah, that's... Well, they're just back, straight back in it. The irony is there is another boat coming in as well. There is another one, but it's it's staying a bit further out. Yeah, there's another one that's went, that went the full distance around the edge of the building. 
Uh, edge of Sosnovka, and there's another couple coming up the road. Oh my god, look up north of Quarry. Yeah. Wow, that's all, they're all dead. They're all dead. That's a squad wipe. Now, these guys at the moment, they're just like a turret. They've taken out one squad, they've turned on a pinhead leaf from being sat inside these little shacks. They've downed two more from the roster that's just kind of moved downwards. If they get these two players, that's going to be two squads wiped back to back in less than 20 seconds. As a side note, the crate we spoke about earlier on with the Groza that has been collected by a roster. So they're going to be moving in with that bad boy in the back pocket. Level 3 bag as well. But, you can just hear the shots whacking off here. M16's trying to find a target. Single fire on. Do we have any attachments? So we're looking for a... Do we have a, a comp or something on there? Oh, we actually got an 8 times scope. So that's going to be nice. And what looks potentially like a compensator as well. And he's even got a level 3 helmet. The The bigger question is, he's trying to tag away with his M16. He has a K98 on his back. And it's got bullet loops on it. And it's got a silencer. He could put the 8 times on the K98. Again, when you've got the bullet loops, you're going to have a minus 50% spread with that thing. The bullet loops, personal preference to me, over the cheek pad. I'm surprised he's going in and, and cracking it off here, unless he's low on ammo with the M16, when you could quite easily just... Whiff away with the uh, with the 98, but who am I to judge? Well, we do look towards Primorsk. Spider on his own at the moment. I don't know where the rest of his team are. Celis and Mackendark. Oh, there they are. They're just coming in on the boats now. So they're going to take the hillside ledge of Primorsk. Um, the beach has very much been breached. And uh, French God gone wild. Stars and WLTR in there, so they've got themselves inside for more. So people starting to start to position themselves in. There is a couple more boats as well coming in. There's uh, another two squads in boats to come. Let's have a look towards north. Everybody outside now. So everybody inside the circle. So it's very much everyone's safe right now. So I think everyone's going to hold position probably for the next 30, 40 seconds until this blue comes in, which is slowly creeping down. Spider's driving away, but he's left his teammates behind. I'd have thought he might pick them he's up. He's getting cover, isn't he? To, just to get cover, yeah. He might be able to back this up on the top, and then that allows his teammates to push up, and they can sit behind this, heal up if they need to sort themselves out. He's looking across down into uh, to Prim, but you've got to be careful because that hill, again, as they look up at you, all you have is a nice baby blue backline. So you're just going to be silhouetting. You're going to be popping your head up. We do have a plane coming over, and this is going to be dead center. The question is, will it fall in the water or will it land somewhere and bring a big boy gun into play? It'd be nice if we saw uh, an AWM or something like that. We haven't seen an AWM so far. Just M24s. Where's this going? Are you going to be... Are the loot gods going to be with us? I'll probably say no. Nope, that's overshot. And... He's going to be just on the outskirts. I doubt any team would want to push that one. Meanwhile, we've still got boats. One, two, three, four out in the water. Shots coming in from dead center. This is the team on top of the hill. Again, what I mentioned before about being an open target. Several players inside the building. They just see them up on the hillside. Interesting choice of weaponry. Silenced uh, Magnum here from Madbush. He does have a Vector and a 16. Hopefully, he's got an extended mag on that Vector. Otherwise, it's not the greatest gun in the world. He does, which is good. Also it's probably got, just the uh, only suppressor he got, I guess. So he's just mm -hmm. like, you know what, I'll use this. And, and he tagged him with it. <laughs> a magnum with a suppressor. I cannot shoot alive. that thing for love nor money. I mean, yeah. it's. I mean, it hurts, don't get me wrong. It's, it's still packing 7.62. If you, if you smack someone in the helmet, it's going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Oh, oh, quarry. Battle at quarry. Flicks taking shots. Here comes the pinch, though, Lee. Look at the beachhead and look at the boats. They've seen now that it's time to move. Unfortunately, all three of these boats... This is going to be rough, man. Gone wild I is mean, ready. Yeah, look at that. What's he got gun-wise? Does he have a scope on that thing? That's he has a red dot. Red dot. Yeah. Sees them all coming. The rest of his squad are going to come now in support. <laughs> they are perfectly placed for him. And he opens up. Bit of single fire. I didn't go with the auto there, looks of it. Flash hider. A vertical. So, it's going to be able to do some sort of damage peeking outside the windows, but they've got the good idea of being able to at least kind of, in fact, he's got an aircog now as well, switched out to an SKS. See if he can ping one in the face from here. French God knocks out one in the kill feed. We were speaking about him earlier on with the K98, but this time uses 
Oh. The M16. Douchebag one and two. Early. Yeah, Dobag one and two. Dobag one, the only man standing now of this squad that came in the beach. And this is what we we're talking about. It's it's dangerous. Like you can sit out there. He's going to swim out. He's going to try and swim out and just stay alive. The rest of his team are gone. And I don't know where, where he got well. tagged from. I'm not entirely sure where he's got tagged from. One player's going to be swimming out. Sees one down in the water. He's just accepted his death. No worries, boys. There you go. Have another one on me. He's going to go under the boat, isn't he? If they shoot the boat, points. he might get him. You can have a crack it. I mean, it's smoking. Um, there is obviously splash damage on there. Whether or not they've got grenades and such. It, again, if they all just lit it up. That's, uh, uh, what, seven kills for this squad now? On that, on that beachhead alone? Mm. Let's take Where? a look at further afield, though, Lee. Black Cost at the moment. Looks like Quarry is going to be the place to be. Two players pushing out, but they're getting nailed from the compound just to the right-hand side of it. One team's moving in from the left. But again, that team's completely... Are they split? Let's have a look. In fact, no, it's a two-man band because they lost two initial players up at the top. Martin and Bolin. One roster to the right, but Flix is still cracking off at them. Yeah, so it's looking more... Like, it's, it's either going to be a quarry finish or, or fairly open ground. There's quite a lot of trees around there, so it's not too bad a territory. We have another boat coming in now. It's going to be uh -oh. behind Celis. I'm not sure if he's going to be aware of it, though. Yeah, because he's more focused on trying to push in to the edge of Primorsk. So they should get in safe. You've got your headphones turned up, though. You'll hear that. Surely. Oh, they've look, they ditched the boat. Look, they've ditched the boat just at the edge. Edge of the circle, and they're just going to sit and swim. Okay, that's smart. Don't go in with the boat. Don't give away your position. Because if I'm not mistaken, where they're going to be coming in from, they're not going to have any cover. Unless anyone's on that hill. That's the only cover they've got. But again, if there is someone up there, they don't know that no one's up there. But if there was, they'd be just getting absolutely nailed. But it depends on the spider. And Mr. Harry Potter himself over here. Sellers TV does decide to turn around and take a whack at them. Meanwhile, I've just, I've just remembered the uh, the 249 is still dead center here, Lee. We've still got Shizm with that 249. Yeah, I'm just looking at the overall vision. That Obviously, it's it's it looks like it's coming in towards this hill territory. Maybe the edge of quarry. There is obviously a squad hugging the hills of the quarry. That drop coming down, that's going to be tempting for a few people because it's coming right down bang center of the hills and generally obviously you look towards where the drop's going to be to where the next circle's going to be because it'll always be just inside it where are those shots is this is there still flicks popping off the shots again i think it is isn't it i won't bother looking over there let's see what what's what dropped what dropped i'll uh, i'll let you look at that and i'll just take a look at quarry again we have two rosters over oh, here another grow, quarry. Fif uh, 15 times scope and a military vest and a ghillie suit Ooh. well that's a nice crate that is a nice crate Depends what you're going to put the 15 times on there. If someone's got a can 98, yes, it's going to be good. Um, but again, so when we start to crunch in on these smaller circles. Look at the circle, yeah. And look, everybody in Primorse has to move now. And oh, it's going to get messy. I think Celis might get caught in the back here. Quarry will be dead center. Now we see Spider and Celis, as you mentioned, time to move. The rest of the team's there, but the team that came across early, excuse me, late game, they're just chilling in the water. Go back with, uh, with his fists out, punching the tree. He's the, he's the one man standing, remember, of this team. They got wiped out on the beach, so he's going to try and run it as late as he can, I guess. Still 41 alive for this small area. Oh, oh okay, sell his second shots. Uh oh. Yep, and he says, right. Nope, bye bye. See you later, my friend. One, two, three, four players. All just lay a pound upon them. All of a sudden, though, <laughs> evil Knievel. <laughs> is he going to stay alive? Oh my word, don't flip it, my friend. He just goes flying through the air. 10 HP and nothing but a prayer. And he's alive. I have no idea. How he <laughs> I just... don't know how he lived there. <laughs> he just went above the building. I think his teammate got taken out on the way through, but... 20 points for style points. You've got to give him that. He's still got another teammate, Dingle Rabes. Where's he? Okay, oh, he's all the way back there. Oh, okay, he's cool. Yeah. They, I, I, one would assume they know exactly where he is. Okay, lots of shots going on there. Spider, they have found that squad. Squat shots from okay. behind. Spider nailing them on the back. So everybody was coming out of Primorsk. It's starting to get a little messy for them now. Obviously, they're all coming fairly exposed because it's a big hill that goes up. So I guess probably the latest guy to go through is the, the one that could come out well. Dobak is still in Primorsk. I think he's looking for some loot here. 
that Spider and Mac and Dark, they're looking for this squad that are pushing up now. They're coming up behind them. It's actually Spider and Spider. There's two different teams, <laughs> which is a little confusing. Um, it's Spider that's getting shot by Spider. Oh, look at the crunch. They're between two teams. You've got two on top of the hill, one of them below, and they just get absolutely mullered. The bullets come in from high. His teammates will fall. Car's going to come in behind them. He may potentially just get battered from his left-hand side. He says, nope, I'm not driving in there. I am going to turn face now. But the team that has just been sat kind of camping back all this time, the blue is now doing the damage. Spider and Spider will just lay upon them. One of them will fall. The car we spoke about earlier on, his teammate goes down. But now he's got in now. He's going to have to use the first med because... Oh, you're next! Got about three HP. Gone wild. Took them both out. Gone wild. Just snuck up. Snuck down the hill. So that's three squads all just wiped there. <gasps> he hasn't seen him all this time. Douchebags just sat on the floor next to him. He had no idea where he was. He had two HP. Fair enough, he's died. But he may have just caused them all kinds of problems by giving them away his kind of location there. French God and Gone Wild. They have kind of the a, a decent position, I want to say, because they can come in... Jansen, yeah, the last man standing for no loot gaming, and he's on absolutely no health. His entire squad has been wiped out. Outsiders, outsider and crew are both down. Gets himself healed up, but he was taking shots from uh, Flix and only there. Also had shots from Caskill. You can see he's kind of caught in a horrible position. He's got no cover, has to use the ridge of the hill, but that exposes his flank to the opposite number off onto the right hand side. Let's see who it was. So he's in a really tricky position right now. I mean, he's he's the only man left for his team, right? If you're not going to be yeah. able to get these kills, you need to move for position. He does have smoke nades, so it all kind of works out how he uses these smoke nades to see if he can somehow, somehow, and it would be a very difficult task, but somehow make it down into the quarry. Now, the good thing about for him is the quarry is there's, there's lots of angles, there's lots of ridges, there's lots of places to hide, lots of boxes, lots of buildings, but it's how he uses smoke nades efficiently and get down there because if he stays alive, all he needs to do is just keep moving up that chain, keep moving up as, as kind of what I'm saying here while I'm talking away. French God finally dies. The squad we were talking about earlier on, I believe that's the one with the 249, yeah. they're still alive. It's getting pretty crazy all over on the left-hand side. Player Tail taking shots, Venity also taking shots, uh, Thelen taking shots. Let's have a look. I'm gonna try to switch across to Cloud Tail. Spec mode is not playing ball for me at the moment, so let's... Uh, Use the tab instead. And we're down to what? How, how many squads are alive? Probably six squads alive now. Yes. Eight squads. Janssen. So it's top eight still for Janssen. They've managed to keep in their no-look gaming. But far from convincing. Cloudtail, Masterus, and the Lin. There's two four-man squads. That's it. That's all that's left now. Gonwald has to move here. Cloudtail's just staring at him. Dingle is down below. He's a one-man band. Has gone wild. He's got, he's got to move. He's got to move. He's just going to have to heal himself up. See, what's what's interesting here is, Lee, we have two solo players moving in, Janssen and Casco, but they're actually going to... They're going to pincer two players. Janssen's been seen. He's been tagged heavily. He does manage. Will he take one with him? Grab himself 10 points. He needs to get inside. The blue's doing the damage. I have no idea how he's... Oh, finally, someone's taken him out. That's devastating. But before he did, four more players fell. So you may have potentially just kind of got his team up there a little bit more when it comes to points. Yeah, did he get Casco. top five? That's the, that's the like important point. The Sula's going to get his teammates up. So we have two full squads. Casco, like you say, he's got full aim on them at the moment. He knows they're in those buildings up at the top there. Doesn't want to take shots. No reason to. Uh, let's have a look at the circle. It is very tight, uh, but it's looking good for Venity and Co. Because his entire team... They're all inside the circle right now. They're the only ones in the circle as well. So they have themselves a really good position. And remember, everyone down to the bottom of the road. How the hell are they going to get up there? <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of the problem. Cast girl, and then the, you've got Bolin over there and Mathim. Anyone who's on the opposing side of that ridge needs to do some work. Oh, Benedict's move. getting pushed. Oh, They're pushing up. Push. It's, the four, it's the two four-man squads that are about to meet. Let me go... Uh, third person as they, as they come out. You can see they're all up there. One nade. There's a couple of the nades going out. Claytel chucking it in. The Lin's going to try and throw it out. Venity peeks around. Bootsman. Can he find one? 
The Lin's got himself in a very good position, but he's had to spin around. Finds Dursala behind him as now they move up. Bootsman pops around the side. He's got to go for the reload. Switch across the Bootsman's angle. He's got himself a hollow. He's going to get pushed. The Lin doing work here as he finds another. Venity, he gets down as well. And that was a great push. Remember, these were two. Two opposite numbers are down behind. It's only Fluxy alive now for that squad. That was the entire four-man squad. Fluxy, the only man standing. They've been holding this ridge line for so, so long. And that's got to give Cloudtail and his team a massive advantage in this final five. And we approach ten players remaining on the map. Marthine. And his teammate Bolan, you got two scars there. Carskull's hiding away there below the steps. He needs to move net. If he doesn't, he's still inside. Lucky, lucky man, and he may have just got some information. Grows are in hand. If he gets the drop on these two, because they're not healing up. They're staying at that kind of health bar there, which would suggest that they don't have stim. In fact, I'm seeing them heal now. One of them doesn't even have a helmet, Lee. If he gets a, a read on with that Groza. He could wipe these two. He could take another squad out single-handedly, bag himself 20 points, and jump them in a position. I don't really know how Tecto and Ekavas are going to have play any part in this. They're down below. Kaskill, he's been just been sneaky. He's been that solo man. He, he's been watching people for the whole time. Uh, Mathine and Balin he's just been keeping an eye on him. He knows exactly where they are, but... Basically the high ground right now, and that is Cloudtail. These guys from Arden Esports, they are in a magnificent position to take victory here. As the circle starts to push. Caskill's there, and he's getting tanked. Two of them, that's going to be two scars. And they seal the deal. They're going to finish that squad off, and they move one up in the position rankings. Meanwhile, as you mentioned, these four players standing strong. King of the Mountain right now. They're just looking for opponents that want to try and challenge. Flix, he's just going to sit tight and hope and pray. Meanwhile, down at the bottom, we'll see Ekavas and Tecto, as you mentioned. They can kind of just wander around on this ridge. They can't be seen from up top. As long as they don't get overzealous, there's no reason to poke out and be seen by this opposing team. They can stay where they are. They have no idea. They can sit on play this ridge. It's still inside the circle. Flexi bags himself a death, unfortunately, as the AKM does find a target. But I tell you what, credit where credit's due to my theme. He's uh, he's tanked these guys up on the hill pretty badly. Lee. Yeah, that Carl Nine has been doing work. They're all pretty low. <clears throat> Down to the final three now. Mathen on his own, tossing out what everything everything he's got: grenades, <laughs> flashbangs, smokes. Is the pan gonna follow? He might throw that up in a minute. But it is still this four-man squad. Cloudtail gets tagged up massively. Was that was Tecto or Ekabas? One of them causing problems. He's got a cracking shot on him. I've got to give him credit where credit's due. Oh, the but circle's the top. The circle's the, the top. To seal. There we go. See you later, my friend. And now we are into a four-on-two position. I mean, so they made it to the top two. They're not going to be out of because they can't, simply can't get up the hill. They can't get up the hill, so they're not going to get into the circle. So all <laughs> they need to do is sit and wait for this one out. But they've yeah. made it to the top two. And they've not really done a great deal. Tecto's had one kill. Whereas you look at these guys, it's Arden Esports. What have they had? Ten... 14, 16 kills. 16 kills this team's had. That's pretty impressive. And they could be making it 18 very shortly, as you said. There's no way of getting up there. In fact, has he, he's found his way up. They've had to nip into the blue, but now they've actually given away the position. They've been seen. Here comes the call out. Grenades are going down. We can see Cloudtail. He's just trying to get some information. He's throwing a grenade down. Absolutely nowhere in sight, unfortunately. But again, they now know where they're hanging around. Two players. It would be a miracle, an absolute miracle, if these two players somehow managed to win this out. Down goes one. The Blues probably going to finish this one off. Tecto says, see you later, my friend. And look at those kills. What an absolute beast mode performance from this team. Yeah, 18 kills for Arden Esports. Uh, solid, solid performance from them. We were talking about, obviously, you know, your AAs earlier on uh, and everybody else that's had these big kills. you got to give them credit. Arden Esports, 18 kills in this round. Dominated. Uh, and if you remember, they weren't on the Quarry Hill side. They were down on the, the, the far left of it and then they worked their way up and as they worked their way up, they were getting kill after kill after kill. Squads were getting swept left and right. So it worked very well for them, but uh, solid, solid performance overall. Um, the main one for me was no loot gaming. They just didn't have... No loot? Really? Yeah, they just didn't have loot. <laughs> they just didn't have loot because they started in Pachinki. They gave up on the fight in Pachinki. They, they abandoned that without before it even began. They got the two vehicles, tried to get down to Primorsk, gave up on Primorsk because... 
another buggy was ahead of them who, who also had no loot, but they they didn't they obviously didn't read it very well and just didn't see that. Then they tried to go back to that complex. They got ran out of that complex by another squad. They just had nothing throughout and obviously finished in seventh place. Um, if anything, credit to Crew for getting the three kills because his team were were struggling throughout that one. It just kind of felt like they didn't commit to somewhere and kind of you know go with their normal playstyle, work together as a team. Every they won't commit into a certain spot. You mentioned between that first minute of the game, they went to Pachinki, they bailed on Pachinki, they moved down to Promos, they bailed on Promos, then they moved back over to Ferryport, they bailed on Ferryport, and meanwhile, while bouncing between all these. They were losing individual players. They lost that initial one, which kind of then put them in a predicament where they're giving away their position. Then they moved back again, but the team knew exactly that they were already hanging around and they were ready to receive the package. As soon as they turned up, they got melted. They lost a second one. It's a very, very, very disappointing from New Look Gaming. But again, these things can happen. You've just got to gotta deal with the hand that you are dealt. Unfortunately, things didn't go right, but still, they've got more chances. They might be able to have another crack at it and get up there. Either way... We kind of said we wanted to see some new names, some new players, some new big kills. So, there's the Daru, the Lynn, Cloudtail, and Masterus. 18 kills between them. That is a belt in performance. Yeah, absolutely solid. We're going to be going back to Group 16 next. Of course, that Ooh. is the one with AAA, with G2, with Big Clan, with... Uh, uh, with, with just a plethora. It was, it was such a packed game, that one. We're going to be going back over to that one. Uh, we're going to be jumping into that server. Hopefully, it won't be as long a delay. And we'll be ready to go as soon as possible. Because don't forget, North America awaits us. Uh, Rich, we're back in a few.